Hey guys, in this video, I have the mini TS100 soldering iron. Banggood sent me this for review. This is actually the kit version that comes with uh, multiple tips, the XT60 power connector, as well as a nice case. I think the TS100 by itself is about a, a $50 to $60. This soldering iron has a lot of intelligence built in and it is uh, STM32 based. It has an OLED display with a USB port for updating the firmware. The TS100 is a really compact soldering iron that is powered uh, several ways, either with a LiPo battery, a power supply or adapter. It can run off of uh, 12 volts all the way up to 24 volts. It's essentially a 17 watt to 60 watt uh, soldering iron. And the first thing I'd recommend doing when you get your TS100 is to update the firmware. There's an alternate firmware that adds a bunch of features by Raylim and you can download it on his GitHub page. It's really easy to update the firmware. Just grab a micro USB cable and plug it up to the TS100. Then hold down the A button, uh, which is the button closest to the tip of the soldering iron while you're plugging it to your computer. It should show up as a drive, a USB drive, and then just drag and drop the hex file onto it, and it should automatically start updating and rebooting. You'll know that it succeeded when you find an RDY file in there. If you get an ERR file, that means that it's failed and you have to do it again. Now, I tried flashing it from my Mac, and it wasn't successful after several attempts. However, using it on my Windows machine worked perfectly fine, so I would recommend using a Windows machine if possible. So after flashing, you can unplug it from the computer and test it out with a with your power supply. Right off the bat, you'll see that there will be additional features. And when you hit the B button, you'll uh, cycle through the various new menu items. So here I'm soldering a wire to an XT60 connector and it actually went very well like my other soldering irons but uh, I'm doing it with a 3 cell battery instead and obviously the higher the voltage the more wattage you're going to get from it. Even at the lowest uh, 12 volts it can do the job of uh, soldering uh, battery connectors. Here I'm soldering a tack switch onto a, a PCB and it's actually very simple. In this case, I'm just using like 300 to 350 uh, degrees Celsius to do this. Most of my soldering irons are big and clunky, so I do like how that this can be used on the field with battery packs or if I'm at my workbench I can just hook it up to a dedicated power supply. The TS100 starts off at $50, uh, 50 to $60 just for the soldering iron but if you're looking for uh, more soldering tips or a, a nice compact case and, and the, um, the XT60 uh, cable, the 12-in-1 kit isn't a bad option. And anyways, that's it for this video. I'll have links to everything I mentioned in this video in the description. Comment, like, share, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.